In this tutorial, we will focus on the drawing modes, those modes just available here. Most of those modes are available in the different drawing shapes, like the pen brush, the pencil brush, or the mechanical pencil, or the airbrush, or even the text tool. You can also find them back on the paint bucket, for example, or on a field shape, like the field rectangle or the field stroke. So by default, the drawing mode enable is drawing mode color. It means it just apply color, the color A that you just have here. By the way, a few words about the colors. You'll notice we have two areas. We have the A color and the B color. So you can uh, pick up any color just by clicking on the corresponding color picker just here. You can eventually switch between two colors by using this icon. You can also use the shortcut N. And here on this little arrow, you even have a color history. If you don't like the chromatic wheel, you can also click on this option and display different options. For example, the sliders, where you can directly enter a value in RGB or HSL. You can even know the name of a color in hexadecimal. You can use the picker By the way, you even have other options to pick up a color by making a right click again. The right click, your best friend in TV Paint. <laughs> and you can even display the name of the color in RGB, in HSL, or in hexadecimal. You also have the mixer, where you can mix colors on a palette. You create your own palette, you can make a right click. You have different palettes available by default. But you can also create your own one just by clicking on new mixer, empty. Okay. And so I can paint on this area, then take another color, and they will mix together. I can also use the shortcut Shift to erase the mixer. I can use Control to pick up inside the mixer. Control here uh, to pick up just works within the mixer area, not outside the mixer area. And you can also use Alt to warp to shift the mixer. You can also use this little lock to automatically pick up without adding new colors. You may also find the color variation, where you can see the different variation of a color. And you can also look to avoid the change each time you pick up a color. Okay, so now let's go back to the drawing mode. So, as I said, when you use color, we add color and we always add above the existing lines. There is another mode really interesting, which is behind. Behind will always paint under the existing pixel. Contrary to the mode color that I draw above here, it draws behind. We also have the areas mode. So actually in TV Paint you have several ways to erase something. You may use the eraser or you may use your pen brush or any other brush, like the pencil or the airbrush or anything else, and turn it into an eraser. And that's really handy because when sometimes you may spend a lot of time 
to make a, a brush. And here, for example, if I erase, I don't want to have this kind of uh, strong eraser. I would like to keep the smooth aspects of my brush. So it's better to continue to use my uh, airbrush and change the drawing mode and turn it into an eraser. By the way, you can switch between uh, different modes by using some shortcuts. And then for the other one, uh, you can define the shortcuts by yourself in Edit Shortcuts. So we have then the pen to mode. The pen to mode is quite interesting since it allows you to redraw something with a kind of step. Since it's quite weird to explain, let me just draw something. So with a fill shape, like this. And now I will use the Panto mode. But it's not enough. I also have to change some seating. And to change those settings, I have to click on any drawing shape and change the shape settings. And actually, there are only two modes that will need uh, these shape settings, the panto mode and the healing mode. So let's focus on the panto mode. Let's click on set. And here I have to define the step like this, for example. Okay. So you can see there is a big step between um, the cursor on the left and the cursor on the right. So the cursor on the left is the source, if we can call that uh, a source, and the cursor on the right is the one I am about to use to draw. And you know, the pantograph actually helps me to repaint something with a step. Let's see the other modes, like the shades. So for those modes, let's take a photo that will be more talking. So with the shade, it will shade a lot the drawing. With light, it enlight the image. And it's not erasing, it's really enlightening. So if I to check in order to see uh, the check, uh, it it's really just clear. It's not deleting, it's not erasing. We have colorize, tint, grain, smooth. Noise. So here you just create a stroke with um, with edges. Negative. Sharp. And both. So arise. Saturate and saturate. Add sub multiply screen. Alpha diff will make sense with a further explanation. So I let it at the moment aside and I'll explain it later. Now the healing mode. The healing mode is a mode that also needs the shape settings. The healing mode allows me to delete something, to erase something from the screen, from the image, but not just by uh, erasing. Actually, it will retake the um, different light level and color level from a source and apply it on a different place. So let me explain. So first I have to 
you the shape settings, click on set and set my source by clicking, uh, for example, like this. And now, if I draw something, you see I can delete the copyright. And we can do uh, this process for other elements, like uh, the chains, for example. If, for example, I try to erase the tail of this dog. You see, we can still see the original color visible just here. So I need to paint several times, mixing color to make it disappear. I can also rechange the source in order to give different results. And here we are. And I can continue to make uh, to the to erase the chain and the the husky's head just here. But I think you understand how it works. For the modes, we also have the burn mode, the dodge, the dark and only, and the light and only. Some uh, drawing shapes just here have. Uh, peculiar modes, like uh, well, for the erase mode, actually you just have the possibility to erase, <laughs> there's no choice. For the old brush, you have just the choice between color behind and erase mode. The special tool has completely different modes. So we have the smear, smears the pixels, the shift, The mixer. So the mixer actually mix colors and shift them together. The color smear. So we apply color, we uh, smear them with other colors. Warp in and warp out. 